Greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Revere Sky, Revere Sky's Essence. I don't know if all people should consider my perspective, but the wise few should. The ones that need more options should. It's 2023, right? And most modern men don't have discernment. And no, I'm not looking for a relationship. I don't care about a relationship. I don't mind having a companion, but I don't care about commitment. Not one bit. The, the most uh, a woman like myself can do is hire her help and keep on pushing. Don't even worry about trying to have a nation outside of the system. Because finding men like that is slim to none. Okay. And then you can't do it outside of your race because you can't discuss prominent and dominant issues. Okay, you can't be with someone outside of your race that was designed to be your ambassador, your master, okay, was designed to have privileges over you, right? They'll never understand your struggle. Never. Okay, now if they want to protect you within your struggle, that's fine. But they'll never understand, understand, truly know your struggle. Being the most hated skin tone on the planet. Loved and hated at the same time. Anyway, 2023, modern men. They have no discernment. They continue to preach a woman's enslavement. Now, me believing in Parthenogenesis because there was once a time this planet could cater, could cater to women cloning themselves. There's a once upon a time where nature could provide enough energy so a woman could clone herself. So me believing in parthenogenesis, matriarchal societies, polyandry, I sit back and I observe and I reflect modern men. Do you know that they burnt the good books? Yes, they burnt the good books of the matriarchal society. They shut women down. That's why certain particular women preach that women create, women allow men to be created so that they could still exist because she knew her powers were dwindling. She knew she was at war, okay? She knew the planet was at war. She knew her species was at war. And then you have the Anunnaki stories about how they came and used her DNA with the planet DNA and created their godlike beings, right? But this planet already had beings. That's right, this planet already had beings. Another thing is, men are continuing to preach enslaving women in a patriarchal society. What do you think patriarchal mean? Why do you think women have menstruation and mentality? Everything is derived from keeping a man feeling safe. Don't you know if a black man use 
the black woman as a tool and put her up on a pedestal as the queen she is, we will go into all out war on this planet. As long as you're wanting her to submit, succumb, be under you, as long as you're not providing for her, as long as it's less men providing for the black queen in the melanated community as possible, then you're no threat. Put her on the pedestal. Try your luck. Put the black woman, the melanated woman, especially the indigenous American woman, on the pedestal. Start putting her on the billboards. The ones that look like us. I'm not talking about African phenotype women. I'm talking about the indigenous American woman that looks like us, that resembles us, put her on the billboard, invest in the image. You'll see all out war. Because once you start indoctrinating people and programming people what is high value, then things start to change. It's up to you to invest your money in your image, right? It's up to you to put value in what your image is. Your mother should be put on the pedestal. Your mother should be held at high regards. Her image at all times. Just by calculating and programming people's minds, a lot of things will change. So again, modern men have no discernment. They preach the choir of their oppressor. Their oppressor trained them with biblical texts how to enslave their woman. And in, in, in 2023, they have no discernment of saying, wait a minute. My mother, my sister, my nieces and aunties deserve better. And then not only that, the oppressor put the melanated woman in a position where she's making more money effortlessly to the point where they designed the communities where it takes two people to run a household financially and she can afford to pay for her household by herself. Remember back in the day, a man check could run a household and save, right? Back in the day, a man's check could run his household and save. Now it takes two paychecks to run a household and potentially save. Whereas this single mother or this single woman can actually provide for herself without the man even being in existence in a patriarchal world. You don't think that's crazy? Everything is designed by patriotism, mentality, the mental, the mind. The woman is so suppressed with her energy from having to work a nine to five, having to pay bills and bump it. Don't sit up here and say, oh, women go around saying, I don't need a man. No, 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 no. Your leadership sucks. You don't feel like you can be a leader without having the woman silenced. You don't feel like you can be a leader without the woman making more money than you. With, I mean, with the woman making more money than you. You don't feel like you could be a leader with the woman making more money than you. You don't feel like you can lead because the woman is more boisterous and speak out for herself. Remember, we was being slapped down like two or three hundred years ago. Beat up. And the black man didn't used to hit no woman or enslave no woman. 
she walked beside him. That's his oppressor's teachings. That a woman should stay in her place. She's a mastermind. She's a creator. She's a co-creator. She has no business staying in her place to her subordinate. Remember, you came through the womb. You came through the incubator. So what are you thinking? That's childish. Oh, she too feisty. She too mean. She speak up for herself. I don't like her kind. No, you're scary. You're a coward. And if you can't challenge and be challenged by that womb man, that melanated womb man, you will never be able to overcome your oppressor. You will never be able to overcome the shadow workers, the elitists that put you in this system where the melanated woman is in a position higher than yours. You'll never be able to see the truth about your oppressor. You know, if my oppressor was hiring melanated women from my tribe to make more money than me, to have more success than me, I would get with my fellow brothers and we would start building I wouldn't waste no time or energy on she's not fit, she's not the one. I would be trying to figure out how to get that money back into the tribe. But you're not a leader. You're a follower by biblical design. You're a follower by your oppressor's mentality. You should be asking where's the woman's great old books. Bobby Hammett know about the great old books. Phil Valentine know about the great old books. Everybody know that the woman had books of legacy beyond biblical times. Remember, Catholicism is what destroyed feminism, the feminine power. The feminine construct. The matriarchal construct. Remember that. You have men sleeping with little boys. Right? That want, that somehow end up conquering the whole planet. Psychologically. And to see men not have discernment and say, wait a minute. Why are we attacking each other? I see the benefit of the melanated woman. And I know she has powers. So why would I keep attacking her? I came through her womb. I need to see what this lady has to offer. Oh no. Stay in your place. Stay in a woman's place. Did your mother train you to have a husband? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Do you know how many women go through menopause, menstruation? She didn't bleed for her own good. She bled so she can house your child. Men in 2023 do not have discernment. Not all of them. But most of them, they fear their own counterpart, their own partner. So do you actually think they'll ever be able to challenge their oppressor, the one who strategically put this system up so that you can hate your partner, hate your mother? And we're not even going to get in on the women who've decided that. They can't take it no more, and they're deciding to date outside of their race, procreate outside of their race. We're not even going to get in on that. Because if men would own up to their fuck up, things would change for the better. Women don't care about men, money, 
Women want men to have skills, knowledge, and power. You know, I was listening to a video that said, I don't know who it is, I don't remember. All I know they said, women that you see walking their babies it, are nice communities. Communities where you see men on the street drinking beer and doing drugs are bad communities. Instead of modern men trying to regulate women and control women, whether he's right or wrong, he just want this woman to agree with everything he says and do everything he says. Even if he does not have the skills of leadership or the mind of wisdom. You got to have the mind of wisdom. A woman knows if a man has wisdom. Wisdom means trust. I can trust you. Wisdom in knowing that you won't endanger me and you'll protect me. A lot of men are like rocks, like they just got from under a rock. They don't know anything. They drive cars, don't know nothing about changing tires. It's like, man, why don't you create a class where you teach men how to change tires and oil? Oh, your car too fancy. You don't have the tools to do it, huh? Why would you put yourself in a position? Just like these cell phones are devices. But you're not advocating that, no, we're not going to purchase any more of these cell phones until you keep the battery in it and we can take the battery out oh no you're not going to advocate that are you no i'm not going to buy that um electric car until you put solar panels on it i'm not going to buy that electric car until the real the wheels can turn and spin and charge up the batteries oh no i'm not going to advocate that i'm just going to go waste my money on some shit that don't make sense You know where men lack the most? Because they didn't have certain things when they were children. They're stuck in a loop of buying things and doing things that they could not, that their parents could not afford to do. Maybe their parents could afford it, but their parents wouldn't do it. Their parents had to save their money for rainy days. So men are so stuck. And you see women do it too, like with children parties and stuff. But men are so stuck in trying to be everything they could have been as a child that when it comes down to reality and facing the facts that I need to be with someone that reminds me of my mother, they can't do it. They can't do it. When it comes down to the reality of living life, Everything's a program. I should watch football. I should watch basketball. That's what men do. I should play uh, Xbox and um, PlayStation because that's what men do on their spare time. No, on your spare time, you should be learning how to be technically, logically savvy. You should be learning how to clean the copperator in your lawnmower. You should be learning how to build a quick home. It's so much more to life than these gadgets. You know what? 2023 modern men still don't have discernment. They're looking for handouts just like women. Bless up to all the women out there who pay for men to be in their life. Bless up to you. You buy your man to be into your life. You want to make your man feel so comfortable, you just keep your mouth shut. And that brings stress and disease on your body. It brings stress and disease on your womb. It brings stress and disease on your blood. It brings stress and disease on your bones. Being silent. Letting the man steer the boat and he only learning himself. When you was born with the knowledge, you was born with the power, you seeded him. 
So don't get it twisted. Is it really wise that women go out of their way to try to be subordinate to a man? You are a god and a creator, not just the incubator. And the patriarchal society and the biblical society, especially Catholicism, designed the books to enslave you, woman. And you would rather put your knowledge and wisdom and instincts, your instincts that you were born with to the side to please a subordinate God. I'm over it. I'm so over it. I meet people all the time. And I don't have to want to date you or be with you or anything because if you're looking at the world and you're seeing... In a second now, all they have to do is push a button and technology will go to shits, right? They can push a button and technology will go to shit. Currency will leave. Do you have the hands and the craftsmanship to live like you're in the jungle? Do you have the survival skills? Or are you going to look at that woman and observe that woman because she going to find a way to eat? She gonna survive. She gonna find a way to survive. And you know it's sad because you know I'm starting to see. This is just on the internet. You know you see more Caucasian people, Asian people, cooking on fire and brick, and then. You know, melanated people are starting to come to the internet and showing how they do backyard, bushcraft type survival techniques, right? But black people have always been doing it. It's just that they're now bringing it to the internet. So don't think because black people are not on the internet showing everything they know how to do that it's not happening. In the South. That's another thing I wanted to say. I'm going to cut that short for a second. In the South, people, men and women, are more holistic. Okay? Whereas in the city, these people don't know anything about backyardmanship. They don't even have a backyard. They don't even burn fire barrels. They don't even burn barbecue pits. They coming from these major cities, they don't know anything about it. They barely even cook. Whereas down south people have time to maintain gardens and and um, livestock, barbecue, cook outdoors, all the natural stuff, fish, hunt. Whereas people in these major met metropolis cities don't know anything of it and they're trying to coerce other men and patriarchize I don't even know if I'm saying it right but in a patriarchal manner tell these other men how, to, how women should be no in the real world down south women are wise and smart the man go out there and hunt and gather and sometimes she does too and she clean and cook food and so do men too and this is social engineering social engineering is trying to remind you remember you're supposed to be oppressing the woman you're supposed to be following this biblical text because if she ever activate her power if she ever activate her womb you got another thing coming if that womb never could talk and activate itself because when that wound is clean and not being polluted with sperm her heart opens up an energy field open up her thymus gland activates when she detox and if she happened to harness her energy and allow the kundalini from the planet to rise up through her she's a whole new being 
But she can't do that being depleted and pounded on by a man. Just like if that man want to harness his energy and open up his kundalini and open up his thymus gland and his heart, he had to quit erecting energy too. A power couple is not people of financial standard. A power couple is a group or two partners that, and I said a group, yes I did, we'll get on that another time, but a power couple, I want to say it again, let's say a group, a power couple is a group that activate their endocrine system and their lymphatic system. Those, those glands are not atrophied. And if the man and woman continue to have sex and not raise their energy or their kundalini energy, there becomes a problem. They continue to deplete themselves. And if she thinks that she's subordinate of him, she'll never activate her power. She has to be in her God's standards. And women have to learn that you have gone through social engineering since you have gone through social engineering that you need a man, now you feel like you should dim your light to get him. When in fact, the man was supposed to put on a show to get you. Observe animals, queen. Observe animals, goddess. Observe animals, god. Yes, you are a god. You are a co-creator creator on this planet in the flesh. Your intellect and your intelligence goes far beyond this plane of existence. It's up to you to activate it. It's up to you to have discernment. Because if you continue to let the treachery of this biblical text control you mentally... If you let his story and his mentality continue to control you, you're not going to be able to raise your goddesses and gods and queens. Okay? You're just not going to be able to do it. Because you keep putting this biblical text before you. Remember, you're outliving these people by 30 years, 40 years. You're outliving these men. Okay? You was able to get all those chemicals out of your bloodstream and you was able to survive. You was able to get away from the stress and the ruckus. Did you notice that most women back in the day when the man died, she was invigorated. She blossomed and glowed and got well and happier and strong. It's something really to think about. So yeah. Women have discernment. And know that the system was designed to enslave you. And as long as the melanated man is doing his job by destroying you and your happiness. They're doing it in other races too. Believe it or not. Your equilibrium and your balance is off kilter. And you can protect yourself by not coming to a relationship by settling. And I don't mean it's not good to settle. Yeah, all foundations must settle. But what I'm telling you is don't settle for the biblical text by his values you shouldn't even talk to God you should let him talk to God he should be the middle man and that's something you're going to have to stop and you're going to have to protect yourself and you're going to have to get your hormones right and you're going to have to stop being needy I'm not saying woman and man shouldn't be together and establish a home and a foundation, but they're not out here growing food and growing orchards and having their own livestock, are they? They see that we're eating poison and filth. Like, think about it. The water. 
They're not even advocating for nothing. Nothing. Unearth the magic. The truth will definitely set you free. Mm -hmm.